I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. Hello Collectors, Steven here bringing you a review of NECA's deluxe kaiju action figure, Mutivore! A whole new kaiju sculpt, this is supposedly one of the last three figures to be released by NECA for the Pacific Rim line. So sad. At $55, is NECA going out with a whimper or a loud bang? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Utilizing the files from the movie and touch-ups by their sculptors, Mutivore here is basically a perfect sculpt matching what we saw on the screen, albeit briefly. The paint is also pretty stellar. Starting with the blade head, hehe, <laughs> the teeth are painted fiercely and there's nice detail on the tongue. Eyes look alright considering size and where it comes from. Where the paint really shines would be the bioluminescence or whatever the technical science term would be for the lines. Huge improvement over previous releases. It looks like he's glowing. Quick look at the fin on the back shows the amazing sculpt even better. The hooks on the claws are nice and the little ones on the chest they're rather dull, they're not going to hurt anyone. Legs are pretty neat looking and the tail is awesome. Overall not many bad things can be said about the way Mutivore looks. For articulation Mutivore, it's pretty good but overall it could be better. One thing I would like to get out of the way really quick is that Mutivore and balancing, it's pretty alright. As you can see here, I can get it to balance on one foot. So if you have anyone who is complaining Mutivore can't balance, well it's not necessarily the figure. I will admit the figure is rather difficult to balance if you don't know what you're doing. So moving past that for the articulation, let's get right down to it. For the head, Mutivore's jaw, the top one moves. I think that's pretty cool, instead of having the bottom one open and close. It's on a hinge, and the head is attached to the neck here on a swivel hinge combo. So you can spin Mutivore's head around, if you really want to, and then where the neck attaches into the body, it's on a swivel too. So if you want, you can get Mutivore to look up even further, because unfortunately, there's no back and forth movement like that. So you gotta improvise, and considering you can spin the neck around, you can get some really weird poses like that. So creativity is key here. <sighs> Moving down. So with Knifehead 2.0, we had a lot of engineering improvements. Lots of new tooling. And we had swivel hinge shoulders, so this way you can raise and lower the arms like that. Mutivore has ball joints for the shoulder. Yep. So, remember uh, Gypsy Danger? How the shoulders kind of suck? That's what we got going on here. Good job, NECA. The bicep swivel, luckily, is a swivel hinge combo. For some reason, they found it to be acceptable there. Right? Yeah, kind of confusing that. Moving down to the elbows... Typical swivel hinge combo. And what's really cool is though the markings technically line up like this, you're not going to get too much out of range of movement. But if you just swivel the arm so this way this cut is there, the range of movement is that much better. Wrists, swivel hinge combo, as expected. So effectively ball joint movement. Same for both arms, you know, as you would come to expect. Moving on down. For the second pair of arms, or the claws, whatever, we have them attached to the body on ball joints, which is cool. And then moving down, we have a swivel hinge combo for their elbows. Interestingly enough, Mutivore does have a waist joint, which is a ball joint. And you can get Mutivore to roar back like that if you really wanted to. So pretty sweet movement there. You can get really creative with your posing. Have Mutivore sort of walk like a weirdo, which is always nice to have, you know. Moving down to the hips, where it's acceptable, we have a ball joint, which is cool. Knees, swivel hinge, as to be expected. This cut here in the middle of the leg by the shin, swivel hinge, and then down here for the ankles, ankle rocker movement for the swivel, though for the hinge, as you can clearly see there, you have to kind of put some ass into it and you get the hinge movement. Might be best to heat this up with a blow dryer or hot water first if you're not comfortable being a little rough with your figures, but that joint does move. So overall, the articulation, it's all right, but there are some spots where it definitely 
could have been made better. So Mutivore actually does come with an accessory. Let's say you're not all that great at posing or you have Mutivore in a rather risky spot and you need some reinforcements because let's be honest here, that's probably gonna happen to some of you. Well, fear not because NECA included a stand. Yeah, that's kind of it. Mm. Yeah, the way it works is you just line it up with Mutivore's body and you just let it go like that. Personally, wouldn't use this. Get a set of Tamashi stage acts. Preferably four, maybe five because Mutivore's a larger figure. Because this one, I have a feeling that it's going to snap and it's going to break over time. Also of note, though it's not necessarily an accessory, hidden in the package off to the side to the left is the back fin. So be careful to make sure you don't throw that out. Wrapping this all up, here's Mutivore alongside some other figures, both from various Tamashi Nations lines and some NECA offerings. Surprisingly, I was expecting Muti here to be a little bit bigger, but still, it's very intimidating on the shelf. So, buy it now, skip it, or hunt down a deal. Mutivore looks nice, articulation's alright with questionable choices, and the stand... it's... well, there. It's a nice figure to have, and although I know it's a unique sculpt, which will be retooled for hardship, $55 is a lot of dosh for this. Perhaps Munivore is an example of how much tooling actually costs for those who are unaware of the process. Good figure, though your mileage may vary. If you like Munivore, I say buy it. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe. What do you think of the figure? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Interested in picking this one up? Check the description for some really cool links to take you where you need to go. Want to watch some more videos? I picked a few just for you, so click the annotations on your screen right now for more great content. Until next time, collectors!